<laughs> we got a pig, and we don't know. I think his name is John. I don't know. Hi, John. <laughs> anyway, this pig here weighs 78 pounds when I got it. Of course, you know, it was all dressed out. And uh, everybody likes to eat pork, right? Uh, yeah, who, like, who likes bacon here? Yeah. No. <laughs> Isn't bacon good? Bacon is good, right? You like bacon? Ah, well, you know, there's a lot of bacon in this pig right now. There's a lot of bacon. This is good bacon here. It's not you buy stuff in Kroger's, you know, nah. This is the real bacon. You know where the bacon comes from? Who knows where the bacon comes from? Anybody know where the bacon comes from? Where does it come from? Where does it come from? Yeah, very good. It comes from the pig. What part of the pig does the bacon come from? It comes from the belly. Belly. The belly, right here. This is the part of the bacon where the, where the pig with the bacon. Oh, hear that crispiness? This is where the bacon comes from. Now, who likes ribs? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> who likes baby back ribs? Yeah. Oh, yummy, huh? Baby back. And how about spare ribs? Oh, everybody mm. likes spare ribs, right? Well, do you know the spare ribs and the baby back ribs are attached? Okay. Now, the spare rib is the long rib bone that goes down the side towards the belly. The baby back rib is attached to one of the most tender meat on the pig, and that would be the tenderloin. Tenderloin, very good, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> the tenderloin is part, or the baby back rib is part of the tenderloin. That's why the baby backs are so tender, so juicy. Now, the baby back rib is a shorter rib. It's about that big. Whereas the spare ribs is, is attached to the, the baby back on the downside. So the tenderloin is the most tender part of the pig. And why is the tenderloin the most tender part? Because there's no muscle, OK? No muscle. Now, it gets cooked the fastest. Now, there's two tenderloins, one on both sides of the ribs, OK? So you got one half on this side, another half on this side, just like the spare ribs and the baby backs, OK? So that's a really good part of the pig. Now, whoever heard, have you heard in the restaurants or in the store called the Boston butt? Okay, where is that from? The butt. <laughs> Who said that? I did. He said that. He said it's from the butt. No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> the Boston butt is part of the shoulder. Okay. okay? The Boston butt is below what they call the picnic. That is this, butt on the shoulder. This part, of the, this part of the shoulder is what they call the picnic. It's got the big bone. And if you go to the store and you look at a picnic, this part they sell it with the skin on it. It's the picnic part. This is the lean part of the shoulder. The Boston butt is the fatty part of the shoulder that's on the inside. And that's the part you get at restaurants, barbecue restaurants, because it yields more meat, you see. Whereas the, the picnic doesn't yield as much, got big bones. So they make more money with the Boston butt because it's got a smaller bone and yields more meat, got a lot of fat. And they chop it up, you don't know it anyway, right? It's all chopped off together. Now, the ham is the back end. That is the leanest part of the whole pig, the ham. Makes sense, I know. This is the part of the pig where you get Thanksgiving Day, the hickory hams. This one here, you don't see very much in the stores because most of the other places buy them. But this ham is very, very tender, very juicy. Okay, very juicy. Okay, now, the apple in the mouth. Unfortunately, the apple didn't make it to this page, okay? Who's ever seen an apple in the mouth of the page? You've seen that, right? Mm -hmm. why, would they, why would they put an apple in the mouth? Interesting, isn't that, right? Well, it's kind of right now, it's just tradition, okay? But many, many years ago, before you had meat thermometers, okay? 100 years ago, there was no meat thermometers. So how did they gauge when the pig was ready? Well, they put the apple in the mouth, and what would happen, as the pig would cook, the apple would just would crush. And as it got to the point where it was just crushed, that's how they knew the pig was ready. That's where the apple in the mouth started. Now today, of course, we got you know electronics and electricity. And in fact, in Puerto Rico, my, my family started doing this in a relay. They used manual turning, you know. You know, my father-in-law, my other family, they would just, you know, turn the pig, have a beer here, have a little you know, rum here, another beer, another rum, you know. By eight hours a day, the pig was done, and so was the, the man turning it, okay? <laughs> and so but today, we have motors, you know, that turn the pig. So <clears throat> so the apple and the mouth came from that. Now, the chicharron you was having today, that skin you was having today, is 
right here, see? This came right from this pig, not from, well, from another pig. Now this teacher I don't will be made later on another time, you know? Like your Michael said, going forward, we will have some more teacher. Pay forward. <laughs> pay <it> forward. <laughs> okay, now, we also have big feet, okay? And we have the most tenderest part of the whole pig is what they call in the cheek bone, right here. There's a cheek that's about the size of a half a silver dollar. It's like butter. I mean, you cut it, there's only two parts of it. You cut it out like this, and just, just melts your mouth, okay? Another good part of the pig, which somebody here we're gonna have to eat because we do it all the time. It tastes really good. So I'm gonna have to need a volunteer to eat an item on this pig. And who can we have to get this item on the pig I want to eat? Yeah, I think Gabby. It, 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 oh. Gabby? Gabby? Where's Gabby? Gabby. Come on, Gabby. Okay. Gabby. All right. All right. Abby. Abby. I'm sorry, Abby. 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 Okay, Abby. We got a part of the pig that I think you're going to love. Okay. It is very tasteful. Uh, and um, it has a lot of flavor in it. And so I'm going to take it out for you so that you can enjoy it. Okay. And show everyone else. Okay. It is the eyeball. Okay? <laughs> Has everybody ate eyeball before? No.